Greetings Empire Builders! Welcome to our Empire Builder Show where the prominent company founders and CEOs are sharing their top secrets of building a sustainable business that creates global impact. Brick by brick in every single episode, we are going to unveil key fundamentals of building an empire. I'm your host, Valerie Prosecchio. In the previous episode, you were able to learn a very powerful tool that can help you to go global, build credibility, stand out in your industry. I'm talking about public speaking. If you missed it, you have an opportunity to watch it. In this particular episode, we are going to learn another powerful tool that can boost your personal brand, open lots of doors and build very solid network. And even if this tool can help you to create additional income stream. Are you interested? Before we move in this episode, a small disclaimer. We were preparing this episode a couple of days ago and there were some technical issues happening. That's why I'm recording this introduction separately. One more time, again. But what is the most important? The most important is that we will still be able to show you this episode, you will be able to learn from our amazing and powerful speaker. And I'm looking forward to hear your feedback. So let's move on to the episode. Enjoy watching it. So let me introduce and invite our amazing guest today. Lily Patrashtu can help you turn your story, knowledge, or experience into books, workshops, and online programs that transform the world so you can get book to speak worldwide, make a difference, monetize your knowledge, enhance your influence through personal branding, increase your impact and influence, attract high-end clients, be featured on TV. Lily Patrashtu is the founder of these programs, Brand for Speakers, We Make You Look Great, Brand for Speakers University, Speakers are Leaders, Your Voice Can Transform the World, Entrepreneurs are Leaders, Your Business Can Transform the World, Millionaire Speakers Network, Become a World Class Speaker. She's mentoring CEOs, property investors, influencers, gold medalists, inspirational people, coaches, speakers, and ordinary people to write and publish a book that can be turned into a business model in 60 days. She has empowered hotel chains, financial institutions, universities, charities, politicians, employees, entrepreneurs, authors, women from all walks of life, and young people to enhance their sales. She has spoken at the same event as top world-class speakers such as marketing expert Armand Maureen, and she has empowered more than 10,000 people in the UK, Singapore, Peru, and Mexico in 2018 alone with her coaching programs to enhance their image and attract more business, share their message with the world, and monetize their knowledge at the same time. The biggest drive for her is making a difference and turning the message of ordinary people into extraordinary stories that impact the world. Lily's mission is to empower 100 million people to be happier, go after what they want, and share their stories, message, and knowledge in books that transform the world. Lily Patrashtu writes books that transform the world. She is a book publisher, book coach, author of multiple books, and founder of programs that help you enhance your personal brand to attract more business. Hello, Lily. It's such a pleasure and honor to have you here today. Hi, Valerie, and thank you so much for welcoming me on the, your amazing show. You know, I think for many people, it is a dream come true to become a published author. Some people, however, use it as a tool, as we were discussing, to boost the business, build an empire. What was it for you? Because I know that your journey started with publishing your own book. How it actually began? 
That's a very interesting question. First, I published my book many years ago when I was a nanny. And that book enabled me to get my first job working as a property manager and uh, managing this massive property business, English school and career advice business. And it was basically like my, my uh, foot in the door to get into the business world. Because uh, previously, it was really hard for me to do that. And from the moment that I published my first book, I became a magnet for opportunities. And one of those opportunities was to work with my partner, Harry Sardinas. And since then, I started uh, speaking worldwide. And I started writing books, not only for me and not only for our businesses, but also for other entrepreneurs. And I realized that this is something that I'm really good at, which is, improvement and turning ordinary things and ordinary people into extraordinary things and extraordinary people through the power and the magic of personal branding and book publishing and speaking. And because of that, I realized what a massive impact it had on my life and how it could help so many entrepreneurs to fulfill their own goals and to speak worldwide, to share their message, to make a difference. And it's because of that that last year I started having this massive goal of impacting a hundred million people to be happier, to go after what they want and to share their stories and to transform the world and to create wealth at the same time. And I'm so excited about it because now I really can see how it's already happening. I feel also, it's your like invitation as well. So it's, it's really uh, an interesting thing. Oh, sorry for interrupting, but I just wanted to say that I'm feeling your passion and I'm really feeling like, because I know that uh, when people have this opportunity to share their message, to share their wisdom, and they have this powerful tool, our world is really have this opportunity to be transformed because everything starts from transforming ourselves. But uh, let's talk about how practically, or like talking about the tangible results, publishing your own book can uh, really transform your business, like boost it. Because I know that it totally makes sense when speakers or let's say coaches, people in the personal development industry in general are publishing the books. It really helps them to stand out from the from the markets and niches where they are. But what about uh, different industries? Like for example, if you're a property investor or like business investor, if you're a crypto trader or let's say founder of, uh, I don't know, HR company, how their businesses can really start growing and how they can get uh, this access to what you just mentioned, being featured, being well-known, well-established, that actually people start to reach out to you to collaborate with you instead of you are knocking the doors. That's a great question. So one of my latest clients that has just published his book in, in the month of May, right? Um, his book is blockchain, uh, world changing blockchain opportunities. And one amazing thing about this book is that it's about cryptocurrency and the power of cryptocurrency and blockchain to transform the world. And um, so he has, ever since he has published his book, he has managed to not only sell a hundred thousand pounds in health products um, that are um, basically, um, he's he has this app that he he created that is using the blockchain technology in order to empower people around the world to have access to doctors. So patients around the world can have access to doctors and doctors, doctors can have access to patients. And uh, it's all through the use of blockchain technology. And ever since he published this book, he not only managed to increase the sales for his business, but he also managed to make a real difference to people worldwide who are now gradually going to have access to medicine virtually. So they can, uh, through the app, they can converse with the doctor, through the app, they can have access to non-invasive um, health products that they can use from home and, and order from home and so on. So it's a really, really amazing thing that that um, is, is uh, not only uh, um, this thing has helped him not only to make a difference, to expand his business, but also to, to make a, a real difference to the people worldwide. And this is the most exciting thing. And every single day, there are people around the world that want to become suppliers. They want to collaborate. They want to become part of the app. It's just an amazing thing that has happened for him, right? So this is a cryptocurrency-based um, 
business that he has and that is also linked to blockchain and and healthcare products right and in terms of property investor i mean as a property investor property developer property manager uh and it's not just for that right not not just for those kind of businesses it's literally for anybody that wants to build their brand that wants to be known worldwide that wants to stand out in the crowd it doesn't work only for coaches and and speakers and and authors right it doesn't work only for for them it works literally for everybody because for example if you are a property investor and if you want to start doing online courses or you want to get more leads or you want to close bigger you know million pound deals or all the all these kind of things what happens is that the minute you start putting your foot on stage the minute you start associating with celebrities or you you have you have that book and that book starts to get you invited for different conferences then what you notice is that people have less of a resistance in terms of price because every time you're you're selling anything there are a few factors that you need to consider which is authority credibility trust and admiration so people buy from people that they trust like and admire and that they believe are the authority in that field and it's because of that that when you raise that authority when you become an author then it doesn't matter what you did previously what matters is that now you are sharing this important knowledge that people want to know about and this is what the book should be about right uh and if you do that and then you are speaking worldwide and you are um you are um what happens is that the minute you start you publish your book and you publish not only a book but you publish the right book that's about the topic that people want they care about they want to know a solution for and also it's a book where you are featured as the expert and you crystallize that knowledge not only in a book but in a system that is part of your book so that system becomes the core of your entire business because it's that system that you you teach in the book it's that system that you can teach in universities and and in schools and you can teach it at different entrepreneurship conferences and to empower women and so there's a lot of, that you can do just by by creating a book because then you can just spread your message in so many different formats and it's just an unbelievable the kind of doors that you can open worldwide and actually i, I have a few in, uh, property investors that i've worked with and for example this this lady right so this lady was um was one of the property investors that spoke at uh one of my events and the minute she was she was there even i remember you even invited her to speak in dubai right she couldn't make it in the end because she had a, a an issue but finally you know as you're stepping onto the stage all you're doing is that you're raising your authority and then the people that are sitting down in the audience they're thinking wow that person is the authority they have the book they have the knowledge they have the skills and what happens is that you not only become that a uh, person that um has the book and uh, has the business and so on but you become almost like a nucleus almost like a centerpiece for people to give you different kind of opportunities you become an opportunity magnet so for example for me people come to me with a lot of different things that they offer right so they offer me uh different deals they offer me uh to become an affiliate or a partner or they want to invite me around the world to speak or um you know i've uh, i've even dined with uh, famous people for example the um there was a movie that i remember i was watching years ago which was uh, the, the movie the secret and um it was viewed by 500 million people and i was one of those people that viewed that movie and i really loved it and i could never imagine that a couple of years later i would have marie diamond who was featured in the movie the secret speak at my event i never imagined this would happen and it was just an amazing thing that happened because i'm an author and also it's um it's also because when you're an author and not only you're an author but you are charismatic as an author and you you start chatting to people you talk to people about your book and you do your your best to help you do your best to add value to people as you're doing that because it's not only about 
you. It's mainly about how you can add value. And the more you add value to people, the more people can see that you're adding value and they want to add value to you as well. And that's one of the reasons why we met Marie Diamond at an event and we invited her to speak at our event. It was just an amazing thing to have that happen for us. And it was actually the fact that she spoke at our event. And when I heard that she had this massive goal of, um, of impacting 500 million people with her um, expertise, that is when I got inspired to inspire 100 million people to be happier and to create books that transform the world. And um, so this is just one of the, the people that I worked with that um, I mentioned. Now, I've worked with many other property investors. Some of them were booked to speak, for example, in Peru and in many different places in London. Uh, and also this lady, uh, Nikki, as well, with her, her book, Property Investment Strategies. Every single time that she speaks, so many women are so inspired and they just want to grab her hand and they want to know so much more about her and her business. And for example, if you're doing if you're working in HR, then an HR um, or any sort of corporate position, what happens is that you become more visible in that uh, job. And then people may offer you a raise and people may offer you to speak, to inspire even your own organization. They may Im uh, invite you to speak at a sister organization, a partner organization or another branch. And that's exactly what happened to one of my clients who is Jimmy Asuni with his book, Dare to be Imperfect. And what happened was that for, he was bullied for many years and because he has cerebral palsy, which is a condition that affects your brain and makes it very difficult to do even simple things like, you know, tying your shoelaces or opening a Word document. And what he decided to do was he wanted to be a bank employee. And after applying for hundreds of times, he managed to finally go and uh, to be accepted to work in the bank. And that is, um, I met him right after that. And um, I saw in him like a really strong determination and um, a really wonderful attitude. And that's why I decided to work with him to build his brand. And that's why we created this message, which is called Dare to be Imperfect, because it's all about you know, many times a lot of people just don't dare to share that message that they have with people because they don't dare to make an imperfect step. And that's exactly what he dared to do. He dared to step out to speak on stage despite the fact that it's so difficult for him because he has a speech impediment it's so difficult for him to even to speak for five minutes it's very difficult for him to do that it's a hundred times more difficult than any other person and he created this book right and i helped him to package this this book into a message which is there to be imperfect and he turned that message into an online course into a movie about his life into a foundation that's supporting uh, people in africa and soon i'm gonna see if i can work with him to um open a channel about how to dress because he's really an amazing person and uh, he dresses really elegantly so a lot of opportunity just come to you because you are an author and another opportunity that came to him is that he was a an employee at lloyd's bank and because he got published, then a lot of the operational managers from the bank got to know him and they got him invited at several other branches of Lloyd's Bank and also the sister branch of the sister bank, which I think is HSBC, invited him as well there. And he became, um, so he became very well known. He started speaking more and more in London. He got awards. He was featured on TV. So a lot of things happened. And this worked not only for those kind of people, right? It worked also for people who uh, perhaps had an absolutely nothing, okay? So one example of that is one lady that, that so this lady, right? She, she had a, she had, uh, she was run over by a lorry, managed to survive, and then she uh, she came to me because one of one of uh, my clients saw me speak in, a, in an event of 200 people and begged her to come and see me. And when I saw her, I just saw this amazing light and power and determination in her. And I just decided that I was going to work with her. And, and we created this message, which, which is called Born to Stand Out, Not to Fit In. 
And this message to, that we created together is now a message that is empowering so many people in London and so many other countries. We invited her to speak in so many different countries. And she went also to Albania. She spoke at the same event as the ex-president of Albania. She was featured on TV in, in tabloids and newspapers with her story. She was given so many awards. And she created also a um, positive parenting book and a positive parenting course. And this course is currently being taught at the Universal Peace Federation. And it's going to be taught all over the world um, through the help of the Universal Peace Federation. And she's also doing, um, she's participating in different shows as well in the U.S. So there's a lot of things that have opened up. And this lady was a housewife previously. So it works literally for everybody. It works for people that have absolutely nothing. It works for entrepreneurs. It works for ordinary people. It works for people who are in a job. It works for people who are at the top of their game and they just want to have that significance. They want to speak on stage. They want to empower more people. They want to perhaps make a difference on a larger scale. There's so much that is possible. And that's the exciting thing. Wow, these are very inspiring stories and transformation that it can actually brought to uh, lives of people. And yeah, it looks like this is very, this is a tool that creates uh, fundamentals for freedom, freedom of self-expression, freedom for creating projects that you really want to create. And maybe there are like a bucket list <laughs> that some people have that they want to make things happen, but they don't know from what to start. So maybe for you who are watching us today, this can be a first step. Like write your own book. But you know, it's great to have when you have this product in your hand. This is an amazing feeling. But you know, if I, for example, like anybody wants to write a book, but he or she has zero talent in writing how to do with how to do with that and maybe you have also your blueprint or do you have any kind of system that supports people in this journey of like from from scratch from zero from the white paper to actually having this book and not just like having the book but actually having this success that you were describing because for example when i was writing my book i was reading a lot of book about publishing i did a google research and there are so many different systems and you know some of them didn't really work from some i learned a lot do you have your rowan system that supports people in their book publishing journey yes that's a great question i do have a system it's called the brand for speaker system and how it works is that there are two ways to work with me. People who want to write their own book, they can do that with my support. And other people prefer to have their book ghostwritten, and they can also do that with my support. And I prefer the people who I prefer to work with people who want their book ghostwritten because the book gets done really quickly. It can take as little as 60 days to 60 to 90 days to from start to finish to have your book published and you gain a lot in terms of speed of implementation because you don't want to be waiting two years for your book to be published and take it slowly because you will be a completely different person then. Not only that, for, um, a year ago, I was about to do an event with two multimillionaires and we had everything planned. It was meant to happen in April and we had advertised every single week, twice a week, the event, you know, previews and so on. Then we had a large event and we had, we were going to have other multimillionaires there and so on. And we had, we were going to have, um, you know, the famous Ken, uh, coach Ken Carter that was featured in the movie with the same name. So we had planned a big plan. We had made big plans. But what happened was the guy, one of the multimillionaires died in his armchair. So sometimes you just have to hurry up thinking that, you never know how long you actually have in this life and you need to just get stuff done faster than than because sometimes you could just postpone and say, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it in two years. I'll do it in 50 years. And then it never happens. And that is not good because then the world loses out 
you know, misses out on that opportunity to, to see, to, to experience your light, your, your love, your abundance, your knowledge, your passions, your expertise, they miss out on that. That's the most important thing. And in terms of how it works, it's very simple. So let's say you come to me and then I will, um, I will start with uh, discovering your current personal brand, how it is perceived in social media and you as well. And I think most people forget how much it matters. For example, even your image in WhatsApp, right? How, what image do you have there? If it's a professional one, then it works great. But what if you have, let's say, a picture of you in the shower or a picture of you, you know, facing, I don't know, uh, facing backwards, or you could have a dog. And I've had even people who had as their profile picture, a picture of a dog. And do you think that helps? And many times, no, it does not. And sometimes you may upload a picture as your Facebook cover, and you may not notice that, that the size wasn't right. And it looks like you're advertising underpants. And again, that doesn't work because you want to be seen. Uh, if you're going to put a picture of you, you're going to want to be seen. At least you want this part to be seen. You don't want to be seen from here downwards because it just looks weird, right? Unless you're advertising underpants. And even then, I think you should, you should still have your face shown, right? So you have to be very, very careful about how you're perceived. So how we start is we and I analyze your personal brand, what you're doing currently, and then I'm going to give you some suggestions. And we start with your personal image. So the colors that you wear and the colors that you want your business to represent and how that aligns with what message you want to portray. And then what I do is I turn your everything into one thing. And what your everything is, is basically like everything that you stand for, I condense it into one message. So for example, let's say one message is speakers are leaders, right? So this is one of the books uh, that I co-authored with my partner, Harry Sardinas, and this is Harry's message, which is speakers are leaders, right? And when you have that message that you kind of condense, you condense your everything, all your message becomes clear, not only to you, but to your tribe, to the people that are aligned with you. And then his subtitle is your voice can transform the world. So it's all about that message that your voice really can transform the world, right? So it's those people that are aligned with that message that become drawn to us. And in that way, we get to we get to create a tribe, we get to create a movement, we get to create an online course, a workshop, a um, so much, so much more, right? So this is the first step where, where I, I turn your everything into one thing. And this is the most, in a way, most difficult part. And in a way, this is the most exciting part for me, because it's like, it's a bit like, if you know uh, that book, which is about finding Wally, right? Uh, the book for, for children. It's like the author keeps giving me a lot of information. It's almost like a lot of junk mixed up with a lot of critical information. And it's like almost like my job to find Wally, which is the secret, the brilliance, the diamond within them. And it's that that becomes their message. And with that message, they turn that into a course, into, an, into a, um, a workshop, into a, a seminar, into a, um, I don't know, a foundation, into, so, into a film, so into their, the title of their speech, into so many different things. It could be a board game, for example, for speakers and leaders, I'm planning to create like a, a board game as well and a card game, right? So there's a lot of things that can happen from expanding that brand from, from in a way, from creating in a way something from nothing right because in the beginning it's all just you know you have all that information you don't know what to do with it and what i do is i just crystallize it in one thing and then i i um then we kind of figure out okay this is the title and then that's the exciting part you have the title you have the subtitle and then from that moment on i help you to create the structure the outline for the book and then from the moment you have the outline it's really important to have some stories because stories sell and stories tell and stories help the reader to engage with who you are what you stand for and why you know why are you here how are you making a difference and um and that's a really exciting thing for me. And after that, I get that book condensed into, uh, I get it basically, um, it goes to a ghostwriter. The ghostwriter writes it, finishes um, the process, and then within 60 to 90 days, your book is in your hands. And then we do a book launch. Um, and then you're ready to 
be invited to different speaking opportunities. And the most exciting thing is that you don't know what you don't know. And what you don't know is that the minute you become a published author, especially with my platform, what happens is that I start speaking about you everywhere. So every time I speak to anyone, you are in the conversation, right? And then for the next 20 to 50 years, I, you are going to be in that conversation. And so it's almost like you become that partner with me for the next 20 to 50 years. And I get to understand really well what you do, your business and everything. So that makes it very exciting for me because from that moment on, you understand me. I understand you. So it's almost like we're becoming lifelong friends as well. And because you have transformed your image, what what helps you? What what uh, what I mean is that because you have transformed your image through my help, and how I do it is that we go to a photo shoot as well, and I tell you what to wear. I I advise you about what colors suit you and how that would align with your brand, and um, I create I come up with the branding concept, which is basically like how the um, the different props that we might want to, we might want to use for the cover. And not only for the cover, but also for your social media posts, because for the next, let's say if you're someone who is very busy and you don't want to be doing your own social media posts and you don't want to, but you want to be seen as an influencer, then it's a great idea to take pictures, um, you know, just take a couple of hours of your day one time to take a lot of pictures with different outfits so that you can be seen in different, you know, in different um, positions and, you know, um, you know, reading um, your telephone or, you know, being in the park or different, you know, in different um, areas of your life and different areas of your life that represent you so that you can be seen as an influencer, you know, wearing, uh, wearing, a, you know, like luxury outfits. Um, and because the whole idea is to turn you into a luxury product, right? Um, and to turn you into a luxury influencer in your niche. Because the minute you become a luxury influencer by becoming a speaker, becoming an author of an amazing book, and then you have people like me that promote you everywhere, what happens is that people start to know you. People start to, to want to do business with you because you look great, you you have the right message, you connect with the right tribe, you connect with the right people. And then we also have celebrities, famous people, influencers, YouTube influencers, and uh, people from different movies that come to our events and they give you opportunities as well. For example, for me, I was a supporting actress in a, in a movie and the movie is gonna be shown on Amazon, I think re uh, recent, uh, in, um, very, very uh, soon. And that's because one of my author clients is a film producer. And very soon I'm gonna be working with her as well to help all the authors to have their own show as well on Netflix or Amazon and for me as well to have my own show. So it's a lot of things that start happening in the background that, you know, you start with a book, but all of a sudden you have this big mushroom that keeps on mushrooming, <laughs> which is really awesome. It's like your, your book becomes a, a huge business and uh, it's very exciting to work with amazing people and creative people. It's really an exciting thing. It's funny, like mushrooming. <laughs> yes, I need to uh, remember this expression. <laughs> but you know, I was actually checking uh, my picture in WhatsApp. I completely forget. I, I don't remember when I uploaded this, but that's so true. I mean, I remember we did the um, workshop about the LinkedIn. And you know, Lily is not exaggerating, talking about a headshot that was actually, I don't know what kind of part of body shot. <laughs> Some people really was doing this or posting very strange pictures. And But it's, it is your personal branding. It, it is the message that you possess and want to spread and it is starts sometimes from your headshot in any social media so yes it, this is so true i mean i love the whole support system that you created for your clients it's absolutely amazing and actually knowing like your whole story how it began and from like the whole transformation the story it's so inspiring that's why I would like to invite you to this um, segment of our show, The Unspoken Truth of the Queen, when we are doing the SWOT analysis, not of the business, but of the person, the person who is staying behind this empire, basically today is Lily. So I would like to share like uh, very quickly, we have like our time is always like expanding to 
very long when we are really focusing on things, but just very quickly, name some strengths, like uh, when we want strengths, one uh, weakness that you have, but you were able, that, that really helped you to build your empire. If it weakness, what kind of uh, tool that helped you to transform you to a lily that we know today? Okay, so in terms of strengths, I'm really amazing at turning ordinary things and ordinary people into extraordinary things. I'm all about improvement. So wherever I'm looking, I'm always seeing something that could be done better. This is my strength. And in terms of the weakness, sometimes I'm a planner, so I plan too much. And I need sometimes like a kick, you know, a kick in the right places to get started. So Harry does that for me. He really doesn't let me dwell on anything. So he, can, you know, he pushes me, and he's he's my strength, right? So he that's where he that's why we compensate a lot because he pushes me where I'm kind of slow he's to like, implement. I plan too much. It's like to be perfect in things. Yes, it's about being perfect. perfect. Yeah. So it's great to find somebody who can push you and keep you accountable. So what about the opportunity? Maybe you had like opportunity that really impacted the growth of your, maybe of your as a person or maybe your business. So, I mean, I cannot tell you how much this, uh, this, this book has done in terms of opportunities. I mean, I cannot even start. First, it started with the job. Then it started with speaking worldwide. Then, you know, getting invited even here to speak on TV. Then having my own show. Then, you know, um, dining with celebrities and famous people. It's just really, and the list is endless. I, I can't even tell you how many things. But I think it was more your decision to actually step out of your comfort zone and starting to like, spreading the message because some people are really afraid of this because they think, oh my gosh, what other people will think about me? Maybe it's completely stupid or maybe I do mistakes. What about this? So I think it was actually really your strength and your decision to put it out, right? Yes. So I think I've always been a fearful person and that will come as a surprise perhaps i've always yeah. been a very fearful person and fear you can say that even my view of the world has always been the world is scary right mm -hmm. and despite all of this i came to london on my own with 100 euros in my pocket and i just knew that it was the right thing and i just cannot tell you why and on the way even from uh from romania to london there were two American people that were on the same route as me. They were taking the same, same flight as me So uh, from the train in, in, in my little town. So I know that I am guided to some extent, right? I know that um, sometimes you just have to trust your gut. And when you do, despite the fear, despite the huge fear, I mean, literally, if you could see my fear in general, you would be terrified, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but, <laughs> if you could see, like, literally, if I could just give you, like, this massive circle of 100%, you know, my fear is 99%, right? But what I do is that sometimes I just decide I'm going to just trust that I'm going to be okay mm -hmm. despite the fear. And I think that comes also with maturity. I think this year in particular, I think because we've had so much time to reflect, I've just yeah. quickly realized that I'm just so brilliant that it's just literally i'm doing a disservice to the world if i don't share my message mm -hmm. so you know i've kind of pushed that fear down it's still there but i'm just doing a lot of things so i did you know even parachuting and a lot of things that are very scary in spite of the fear i can't say the fear is gone it's still 99 percent, but i'm just managing to do that despite the fear because um yeah yeah sometimes you just have to realize if you don't share your message you are making a big disservice to the world because you came here for this. Hmm. I think your self-worth should be bigger than your fear. That's what will allow you actually to grow and like move forward. So thank you for sharing that. What about like the last thing is threat? Maybe you had some external factors, cultural, I don't know, language wise, maybe like you said, some of your clients were bullying, maybe you have any other experience that you were able to overcome and what actually helped you to do that? I think my biggest threat is my own self doubt <laughs> because it stopped me from doing a lot of the things that I wanted to do. And sometimes I held myself back to, for too long. 
and I, I wasn't being authentic. And I realized that mm-hmm. recently that I wasn't being authentic enough and that if I want to create an authentic business, I just need to share more of that authenticity. And the opportunity that came about is that now I'm I'm in the process of working with millionaires who are opening the doors to more millionaires and to more people that have more access. So it's just, uh, I think that because I have dared to step out and just to trust that as it's okay to be vulnerable, it's okay to share vulnerable things. And and I think this is what a lot of people are afraid of sharing their vulnerability. And Mm -hmm. recently I've become more okay to share my vulnerability and my authenticity, despite what a lot of things, a lot of people may think. And, um, because of that, that's that's really helped me a lot to um, connect better with uh, of high net worth people who need my help. Hmm. No, that, that, that is powerful. That is really powerful. Thank you very much for sharing this authentically. And, you know, you actually already mentioned how some changes happened, especially because of the year of self-reflection, like having this opportunity and taking time for yourself. Uh, we go back to the this tool book publishing you're just described an amazing transformation that can happen to a person but what about other areas of life for example if i see your social media it's not only about like going on the stages having this amazing network that uh, basically uh, book publishing uh, gave, gave you these opportunities, right? Or like being an expert in what you've done. But also other areas of your life seems to be like changing. Like, for example, you're developing new habits. You are taking care about your health. As you mentioned in, our, in one of our conversations, you're living the life, right? So I think part of success in general it is not only numbers. It's not only how much money you have on your account. It's actually the whole life in general, how happy you are, how fulfilled you are. And the other areas of our lives, this maybe relationships, your health level, environment, is also part and support in this growth and success in general. So how your life changed, um, like what you're experiencing now, with the work that you've done with this book publishing or is it is not related to this maybe you have some something other <laughs> that is going on behind the, the scenes i think the most important thing um especially this year because i've had a lot of time to reflect was joy and experiencing real joy again because when i was a nanny and i remember that i was experiencing joy in so many different ways and what i was doing was i read this book called how to win friends and influence people and it talked about the simple concept of just changing your attitude so when you go to work you may not like your work but instead of going to work and just being bored and everything what you do is You go there and you enjoy every single moment. And I'm talking about the moment when you have your coffee, the moment then that you meet your colleague, every single moment you enjoy it to the maximum. And that brings you an immense joy. And because of that, people see that vibrant attitude that you have. And then other people start offering you different opportunities. And because you're enjoying that, you you feel immense gratitude for that. And because of that, you're open. You're open to more joy, to more abundance, to more love, to more money, to more wealth. You're open. And and because of that, I did that actually at work when I was a nanny. And and that is the thing that enabled me to meet Harry, to write the book, to write the book in a, in a, um, in a way that I was feeling abundant and, and, and uh, full of love and, and everything. And I think recently I've also noticed how because of the lockdown, I noticed how for a, for a while I had lost that, right? Like I was so focused on, you know, speaking and, and you know, helping people and everything. And I, I forgot myself. I forgot my joy mm-hmm. and, and my... Yeah. And, and, and everything. And then I realized that why don't I bring that back? It's so easy to do. And I just decided to bring it back. And um, it was just an amazing feeling to feel it, feel it again, to feel that joy and the, the health and the energy and the love. And because of that, now I can have a lot more 
to in a way you know when you pour, when you pour it in your own cup first that is when you have so much more joy and love and abundance to pour for mm -hmm. other people to help them whereas if you're you know working yourself to death trying to meet deadlines and everything and you don't take a little bit of time for yourself to replenish your own energy that is when you really don't have much to give and this is what I did. I replenished my own energy, my own health. And because of that, I'm now living in literally the, the, the property of my dreams. I could I could live here until I die. I love it so much. And it's always been my dream to live in a place with a pool. And, you know, it has a gym and a meeting room. And it's just an amazing feeling to be able to experience that. And, be, and because of that, I'm, you know, I'm walking distance to Hyde Park and I, I just cannot express just how grateful uh, and beautiful and, and, and loving and everything I feel. And it's all because of being an author and being a speaker. It's that you 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 get to experience that right when you work with also with people that you really like. And but you choose as well to have joy in your life because there are a lot of people who have all that money, but they don't know how to turn it into joy which i do i think indeed raya like you hear so many times like that your network your environment impacts you affect or affects you negatively or positively but i'm actually studying human design and this is very like young but very powerful science uh that combines spirituality but also like scientific like scientific background and foundation and it's true, we actually impact each other. Every, like we have uh, several billions of people on the earth and we have several billions of human designs and we do impact each other. We have uh, like active um, channels or centers in our bodies and we have inactive. And actually when we have inactive, it can be easily impacted by other human designs, by other people simply to say that have this uh, centers active and if you really surround yourself with people who are always complaining blaming and have the poor mindset that's the way you are going to feel however if you have these people who are always positive always like in their self-expression and creative mode that are always moving forward that is the way how you are creating and building up your life and this is such a beauty and it's you are an inspiration because you have build the life you really want to live and you're experiencing now by yourself and that's why i hope this will be an inspiration for all the women who are watching us and men as well and uh, i have just one last question is if i'm going to publish my very next book that i'm actually planning and i would like to work with you i know that you are described already the whole process but if i'm actually want to 10x my results uh, in publishing the book, how our work will look like. Like, I know that you're beside the like personal branding part, but actually how the technical approach may be, how to have this results, like, you know, not the finished like product, but actually to experience everything that you've done so far. If somebody wants to work with you, how is the best to do this? where to find you, how to connect with you. Is there is like process, like maybe you have interview, maybe people have to be like, you know, you have some kind of process to choose with whom to work. I don't know. Maybe you can go a little bit more in details in this. Thank you for that. So you can go to www.lily.global. Lily is written with one L, so L-I-L-Y. And there you're going to see my programs, about how you can start working with me so that I can get you published. And how it would work is we would start with your personal brand, we would analyze what you're currently doing, and then we would move on to improve your image online and your personal image as well, like what you wear, your colors, what, you, what colors, uh, represent for your business and how you are aligned with that. What is your brand manifesto? What is your brand story? We would work uh, at, we would work with you to create that in a way that people are aligned with that message that you want to portray. And then we would create that, that brand story, the brand manifesto, and we would analyze what kind of um, persona you want to portray to the world. And it should be the authentic persona of you as the, the business, as 
the you know the person that wants to inspire and impact people and and what you stand for and when you do that when you clarify all of that and you unify it into one message that people can read and say yes this is for me that is when um everything kind of starts to click because um, and then what happens is that after after I, uh, we do this branding thing, then we um, we turn your your ideas, your message into a book, into a book title, and that becomes your speech, becomes your online course, becomes your your workshop, and then that. Uh, becomes also your social media posts. For example, if you want to be an influencer and you don't have a lot of time, then we can systemize that so that you can have social media posts for an entire year. And then if you want to get leads for your book, we can also run paid adverts so that you can get um, basically leads coming from Facebook and Google and many other places where people go and buy your book and then they end up being inspired and interested in in what you do and then they will end up inviting you to different opportunities and then the next step is to link up with different speaker agencies so that you can be listed there and so that you can be booked and also if you're interested in speaking then you can collaborate with my partner harry sardinas with his speakers our leaders program where you can get trained to speak confidently charismatically and using humor so that you can have a lot of fun while you are sharing your message. Yeah, so Harry is amazing. Yeah, Harry is amazing. And he was also one of our guests. So you can connect with both of them. And I think you can find also Lily in social media. She has a lot of inspiring thoughts. So connect with her and you can actually benefit from so many Thanks. Thank you very much for sharing. And, you know, we always finalize every single episode with setting an intention that our viewers can set an intention for the upcoming week and to actually but maybe you have a small goal, like achieve something. Or maybe you are thinking about something and you like have a doubt. So think about this. While you're setting an intention, I want to invite Lily and transform your very powerful book publisher, transformational coach to a fortune teller. You see now 10 cards on the screen. Just pick up one of them. Just tell me the number from one to 10. Let's do number four. Ooh, number four. You are the author of your own life make sure to write something fabulous and that is so true and so relevant to our conversation today because you know it's time like let's say that it is this message if you are waiting for any sign to start living a greater life that is it start writing a chapter of your life not just a chapter but make it amazing start finally creating the life that you deserve and want to live. And I would like to thank Lily for being part of this show, for investing your time and sharing your knowledge and expertise. Thank you so much, Valerie. You were amazing. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this episode and you got some inspiration and knowledge in order to make one move forward in building your empire.